that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you have you ever had a dreams Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me. So, I had saw this video and it made me think, it got me to thinking about something interesting about the black community. Who's supposed to lead the black community? I mean, according to patriarchy, the men are, but we see where that's going. What do you mean according to patriarchy? You mean according to nature? No, not according to nature, because if we want to really talk about that, y'all can't produce, y'all don't carry the babies. Y'all don't know, y'all cannot me, do that. Hold on, hold on. Are you gonna, need, is, we're going to probably need a moderator, Kay. We're going to probably need a moderator. She's going to probably need a moderator, because I don't so, think she has enough respect. Because I'm at a line. I just, Wait. Said, I just Wait. said, Wait. Oh. I just said we're gonna probably need a moderator because when I start okay, talking, so, talk. so okay, I, so I'll just okay. it's my turn. Kevin, you want to ask her? You want to ask her about um who? Well, what I was saying is, she said according to patriarchy, and that's a feminist word. According to patriarchy, and that's a feminist word. Let me tell you why I said according to nature. In mammals. The male tends to be the the male tends to be the leader, tends to be the strongest. And you can look across the mammalian kingdom, but there's usually only one major exception: hyenas. Hyenas, hyenas most represent the black community, where the women dominate the men. Women eat first, then the kids, then the males. The hyena, the hyena is more typically associated with a matriarchy or a gynocracy. So we always worry about this. Brutal patriarchy. Black men have never been in the midst of, or or a position to oppress black women. So what are we even talking patriarchy for? Respond. Okay, so just because you don't own necessarily enough to oppress a full group of people, oppression can happen individually in the homes. Like I stated earlier, how I was in a long term relationship for years. And I played the wife role because, you know, I believed in the black family and all of those things. But my ex-husband was doing other things, correct? So in order to keep me, he did things to financially abuse the situation or find ways to keep me in a situation where I wasn't able to leave so that he could run it or handle it how he wanted to. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody doesn't get um, to where they are by, by just... Uh, following whatever the system had in place, you understand what I'm saying? And even then, they wasn't no. right there was in the house. So okay, I don't I don't understand what you're saying by simply saying this. What system would you recommend that's been shown to work? Um, we but you you want to bring up animals? Let's talk about the bees. The queen bee is protected because they know that she's the one who produces all of the children. They know that she is the one who's going to keep the hive going. So oh, no. Oh, ma'am, hold on. No, 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 offense, no, offense, no offense, no offense, no offense, ma'am. No offense, ma'am, ma'am, no offense. I talked about animals. Those are insects. Those are different things. Animals have a different hierarchical structure than insects. Oh, oh, oh. So, y'all. They do. I don't, I don't know. What well, they do. You, you get me? It got me thinking about something. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I was thinking about. Okay, so I'm looking at the continent of Africa, which is dominated 
by African men, African women. That's their country. The women are queens. The men are kings. You look at the Europeans. That's their country. The men are kings. And the women are queens. You look at America. No, you look at China or Japan. The men are kings. The women are queens. Then you come to America. And we 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 have a problem. I don't see us so separate. Why do we have to separate ourselves so much from each other? Why is black women one separate entity and black men are another separate entity? That's not how it's supposed to be. That's not how any other race operates, but we're the only ones who operate like that and think it's functional. You feel me? I've said it before. Why do we get the label of strong, independent black woman? We don't hear that from nobody else. I've never heard strong, independent white woman, strong, independent Asian woman, strong, independent Latino woman, strong, independent Indian woman. I ain't never heard none of that. But we pride ourselves to being strong, independent black women, as if independence is something that we should strive for as a people. Independence is death. Everybody needs somebody. And the reason why we're struggling in our households and our communities is because we think that there's something good about being independent. Black women need black men, and black men need black women. We have a problem. You have white people who who would consider themselves the kings and the queens or you would consider this their kingdom and then you have black people who consider themselves inferior to that kingdom this is america we have rival clans battling for kingships. In the, in the video, the woman says that black women are the only women who call themselves independents and strong black. And, and you wonder, why is that? Why is that? And that's because they're battling for the role of queen. They, it's a domination thing. You get me? We're battling against the white man as if he is the king. And we're battling against the white woman as if she is the queen. And that's funny to me. I'm not a part of that. I don't really care. This, I think, I think this, look, in all honesty, none of this shit matters at all. That's my thoughts on it. You get what I'm saying? You're going to ruin it anyway, so it, it probably won't be nothing left anyway. But to a primitive mind state, which is consume, consume, consume. I need this, I need that, I want to be royalty, I need to be a queen, I need that. That's a primitive mindset of domination. You, you, are, you are an animal. You are an animal, and that's what a lot of people are doing. They are battling for the role of dominance in, in this country. That's what's happening right now. People feel like they are not getting the status that they deserve. Deserve. Everything is status. Everything is hierarchy. Everything. That's why you bring up matriarch. That's why you bring up patriarchy. See, to you, you see the world as a dominant structure that you need to climb. Your primitive mindset is pushing you to climb a ladder that does not exists. Lying through your fucking teeth. I know it. You know it. And this fucking hoe know it. Come on, leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. That is crazy, right? That's that's very crazy. And but it's true. In in China, women don't battle each other because they are each other. 
is established. This is our kingdom. In Africa, there is no battling because this is our kingdom. Or some are battling for the wrong. Either way, theirs is not as, as intense as ours because we have two clans, not not two uh, groups of not not a group of people who happen to separate. No, we are two separate clans on a one territorial land battling for dominance. And black women take part in that. They want that role badly. They they need that role. Which is why you see posts about how uh, black women love being with white men. See, in their mind, they do consider that this land is the white man's land. He is the king. Therefore, I must get with this king in order to be considered a queen. That's why you see it. That is the interracial game. You see women coming from other other countries who who consider America one of the greatest kingships, one of the greatest castles in the world. And when they come here, they want a white guy because he is a part of that kingship. They want to be noble. This I think of people like Meghan Markle. She wants to be queen. She doesn't want to be just a servant or a daughter-in-law. She don't want to be a princess. She wants to be a queen. You want to argue? I can't argue with you. You mad? I can't argue with you. No. Look at you. Look at you. You mad? Look at That's her. That's what she wants. That's why she married that simp white guy. You get me? That's why they married simp white guys. That's why they married them. Because they want to be considered a queen. I can end this by saying everyone is a king and queen. But I'm not because nobody, <laughs> nobody is a king or a queen. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much the video. Bye.